Hey everybody, this is Tom again in Western North Carolina. Anyways, it's uh, 26 of June and I just want to make a video and so I'm, it's too hot to split firewood but it's cool this morning. And so I've got three pieces of wood here and I'm just going to, uh, three different kinds of wood and I'm going to just whack them with some, the way I split wood and see how they how differently they act and what it takes to get to split them anyways the three pieces of wood i have are i got a piece of black locust right here and it uh it was uh i did not cut this wood down but this is obviously a standing dead tree it doesn't have any bark on it it's real dry and for this area black locust is considered to be one of the very best firewoods. It's very dense. Another piece of wood I have over here is a piece of sycamore. And it doesn't have any bark on it either, but it's just fresh cut and the bark peeled off it real easy. And so I just got rid of the bark. I use sycamore for one small piece on my shaving horse. And I bought a sycamore log and I've already got enough pieces, but I got a bunch left, but I, I want to see how it splits. Supposedly a very hard to split wood. Another piece of wood I have over, is over, back over here. It's a piece of hickory. I did not cut it down either, but it's been down a while. It's pretty dry and hickory. Sometimes it splits relatively easy and other times it's very very difficult to split So I'm just this is just kind of an experiment Something for you guys to watch and just see How I might go about trying to split this wood especially if it's very hard to split anyways uh, I do have ear protection in I've got Not really safety glasses, but I do have some glasses on but anyways, I'm just going to give this a whack with my split maul. This is that locust. There are some checks in it. I guess I'll try to hit one of those checks. See what happens. So that so that's not sticking. So that that means it's hard. So normally what I would do in that case is I'd take this hatchet and everybody's going to say you're not supposed to do this but it's my hatchet, I can do what I want with it. Hear that pop open? Hear the sound change? And you can get a wedge. The reason I like this hammer is this end here. I can follow that wedge down in there with it. If I can hit it. So anyways. That's how I would try to split that. It's not all the way split right now. There's strings holding it together. But let's see what happens if I hit it here. See, that's stuck. So once that sticks, then I just... So that's for really tough, dense wood that splits pretty easily. In this area, locust was the standard wood for making fence posts out of. And it, 
known for rot resistance and relatively easy splitting. You see, that's, that's got strings in it, but I can get them out. And so I'm going to set that aside for a minute. That was a locust. Not too hard. Those smaller pieces will split up pretty easy. So let's get this sycamore piece out here and see what happens with it. Okay, this is a sycamore. It's got a pretty good check in it. Right there. I'm going to whack it with this split maul and see what happens. See, it won't stick, won't stick. So let's try this one. I'm gonna try this one with a little wedge. And this is what, this is what a wedge looks like. It's very old and used a lot. You can see that it used to be a five pound wedge. An old man gave me two of these that, that he had pretty much wore out, I guess. Let's see how I want to do this. I'm going to try this right here. See what happens. It's just barely acting like it wants to split. It's going, it's starting down there a little bit. It's starting to crack. Can you see that crack on there? But it's still hung up pretty good. I have to go get another wedge quick. Try this wedge right here. Oh, wrong hammer. Oh boy. So I guess I thought I brought an axe out here. It's really I hope you can see that, but it's just a lot of strings on there. Can't hit that way. Put this guy right here in right about here. See if it'll go in. Okay. What am I gonna do? All those wedges came out except for that one. I'm going to flip this up and show you what the other end looks like. That's what the other end looks like. That's, you know, <laughs> pretty rough.
So anyways, that's, that's Sycamore. And that's one of the reasons why you never see anybody cutting down Sycamore for firewood. It's a lot of work to get it split. And it's a very, when it dries out, it's a very light wood, light in weight. So it's not ideal, you know, it's not a great firewood. So there's, it's just held together in there with strings deep down in. I don't have my string cutter. Remember that tool I used when I was splitting a chair log? There, I got it. That's what that looks like inside. My sycamore does have a very pretty grain pattern to it. Right there you see it. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of heavy for me to pick up and show you. That's a pretty grain. But boy, hard to split. Look at all those strings. Woo -wee. I'm gonna throw that aside. I don't wanna I don't wanna mess with it anymore. Here's a piece of hickory. See, I guess it's hope it's in the viewfinder. There's a piece of hickory. It's all, I did not cut this. You know, it's got a pretty bad cut on it and everything. But anyways, I'm gonna, and there's a limb sticking out right there. The limb sticking out, that always makes it harder to split. But I'm going to give it a whack with this. I'm going to give it a whack with this split mold and see what it does. I'm pretty sure the bark will come off it. Oh, look at that, it's stuck. Stuck on the first lick. But it doesn't want to go in. So, I don't know where that little wedge went. Oh, it's still stuck in this one. <laughs> There's my other little wedge still right there. But I got two of them. So I'm gonna put one of them right in that place where the the split mall went in. Let's see what happens. It's going in good. But still that's acting it it don't wanna split. I'll put this in it split all the way across. Hear that? It's it's splitting pretty good. Get that little fella out of there. So it split a lot easier than that sycamore did. But still, I got a big string in here. See that string? There, my wedge is stuck right there. Get it out. <laughs> There's the inside of that. It's been dead down a while, starting to show some gray there. And this is, looks 
to be decay here a little bit. Now I'm going to give this little small piece of whack and see what happens with it. I'm going to hit it with this maul again. Oh. Uh. Well, that's stuck. Get this little guy. See what happens. Uh, it's splitting. Yep, split. You got some ants. See, that's gray. This guy told me this tree was fell down about 10 months ago. So it's been dead a while, but that didn't split too hard. Oh, there's a bunch of ants in this one. I'm going to throw it aside. I don't want to get ants on me. So that didn't split too bad. So oh, I got a minute or two left on the video, I reckon. I'm going to try to hit this one again and just see what happens to a half a piece. Or I'm going to split it on, I'm going to hit it on the edge and see what happens. Ha! Ah. It popped off of there pretty good, but it's real stringy along the edge there. So look at that, it split a lot better. Split a lot better in that direction. But look at that side, boy, look at all those strings and stuff. I hit that on the edge again, see what happens. All right. Oh, bounced out. Let's see if I go right over here and see if I can get this, chop that off. Oh, didn't want to do that. Yeah, that's just going to be tough. Tough going. Yeah, it's just, that's just too much work for the amount of firewood you get out of it. Anyways, how much time we got? 18 minutes. But I got more of that sycamore. I'll pan over here. There's four more pieces over there. I don't really want to split it up. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but over here, there's more of that locust laying down on the ground there, right down there, there's more of that. There's probably some smaller parts in this firewood pile. There's a lot of red oak in there. You've seen me split red oak. There's a lot of locusts right in that area right there. It'll make great firewood. I'll pan around here quick. Over there, all those big rounds are that hickory. And I'll probably end up busting it all up. It's good firewood. Anyways, there here we're back to back to square one. Video's about long enough. I just wanted to make another video, let you guys know what's going on here. I try to just come out and split a, my goal is to split one piece every morning. One piece every morning, and it usually leads to two or three pieces, but it's something to do. And I'm going to have plenty of firewood for this year and probably in the next year some, some too. Okay, that's enough, as old farmer junk would say, that's enough. But I hope you're having a good day out there thankful. I'm thankful for what I have. And I hope you can be thankful too. Anyways, thanks for watching. And thanks for the comments. I appreciate that. So I'll see you another time.